Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video. For today, I'm going to be showing you the best and most simplest way to use ControlNet using Leonardo AI, an AI image generative platform. So if you aren't familiar already, Leonardo AI is one of the many AI text-to-image generative programs available for use. It's one of the newer AI generative programs that have come out in recent time and in my opinion, has some of the fanciest and sleekest user interfaces available on the market today. So in order to access the ControlNet feature using Leonardo AI, go ahead and go to the Leonardo AI homepage and click on AI Image Generation on the menu on the left-hand side. Then, on the left-hand side yet again, scroll down until you see the option where you can upload your own image. Another option you have other than uploading your own image is to pick an image from the community feed. So go ahead and go to the community feed from the left hand side menu and pick an image of your choice. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go with the Cyber Samurai Black generated image. Go ahead and select the image and choose the option Image to Image. After selecting image to image, you can go back to the AI image generation menu and you'll see that the image that we chose is now shown on the left hand side. And if you notice, the control net option which was previously unavailable to be clicked on is now available to be enabled. And if you look at the control net options, there are three different options to choose from whether it's pose to image, edge to image, or depth to image. We're going to be choosing pose to image, and after choosing that, as you can see, we now have different poses from the same image and the prompts that we used. And now, feel free to post image samples of the generated image using ControlNet to the community feed. Another way to generate more images is to choose an image dimension. For example, we're just going to go with some small files like a 512 by 512 image. Then we can click on generate to generate more poses to the image. Now another feature of ControlNet is we can choose edge to image and we can generate more images from there. This way it'll focus on the edges of the image to generate more prompts based on the image that we gave it. And finally, I'll show you guys what happens when we choose the control net option depth to image. As you can see, you have a more defined depth to the images that you've regenerated with the options and parameters you've chosen on the left hand side. As you can see, there are a ton of ways to tweak the images you wish to generate on Leonardo AI using control net. Whether it's pose to image, edge to image, or depth to image, Go ahead and experiment with all these features to generate some amazing AI art. And that's really all there is to using ControlNet on Leonardo AI. Thanks so much for watching guys, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or inquiries. And also, don't forget to like this video if you feel like you learned something new, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Yet again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.